Hi, uh, can I speak to the pharmacist for Yeah, hi, you asked me to the pharmacist, how can I help? Basically, I need your help with something a bit sensitive. Do you want to discuss it in the consultation room? I'll be down. Yeah, no problem. So, how can I help? Alright, well basically I've just been to my doctor's and he's told me that I've got benign prostatic hyperplasia. Oh, okay. And yeah. um, he's given me this prescription for finasteride. Oh, okay. Finasteride, 5 milligrams daily, yeah. But the thing is that I don't really like using medication. I prefer using herbal products. Right. So, I was looking around the front of your pharmacy and saw these two. Right. Um, I just want to know if they could be used for my condition because I think they can, but I'm not fully sure. Okay, so we have two products here, both for the same indication. Yeah. Um, we have Prostasan here, and we've got Diaertica. The Prostasan um, contains saw palmetto, okay. it's a plant, and the um, the Diaertica also contains part of a plant, uh, nettle root. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they're both used to treat the lower urinary tract symptoms in men with benign prostatic hyperplasia. Okay. What what are they? What are the symptoms? So these symptoms uh, include things like frequent urination, pain when urination, and you know, um, waking up in the middle of the night yeah. to go to the toilet, you know, and you know having those sudden urges. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Um, okay. Do you have okay. any other questions? Um, yeah. So I wanted to know how these medicines work. Okay. So um, the mechanisms of action aren't you know how they actually work. Sorry, you know, yeah. isn't exactly <laughs> defined for both these products. However, you know, they have been used throughout history for a very long time. And the fact that their use has been recognized, you can see that they've been given a THR number. Okay. So this means that their use is recognized and it's like an you know an officially licensed you know herbal product. Alright. Um, you know, I mean as I said before, the, the active the active ingredients in the prostasan is the saw palmetto and in the, the active ingredients in the uh, diaertica is the uh, nettle root and the nettle rhizomes. Um, however if you're talking about I don't know if you know anything about this chemical basis, but on that in that kind of detail, um, the ac the active principles we say aren't entirely known. Alright, okay, okay. So um, are these safe to use? Um the they are both generally well tolerated. I mean, the diuretica is um, very well tolerated, and um, you know, this produces very few adverse effects. The prostasan also produces very few ad minor effects. You know, you may get um, stomach discomfort, yeah. but you know, these effects are rare. As with any medication, if you are allergic to the active ingredients in the product or anything used to make the product. If you are allergic to any of those, so for example, if you are allergic to the nettle root yeah, yeah. or the nettle rhizomes or anything used to make these tablets, or if you are allergic to the saw palmetto or anything used to make these capsules, then you shouldn't be taking this oh, product. So, yeah. But, you know, and also these products are just for men. So yeah. any women in your family or anyone you know should not, yeah, should not be taking All right, these okay. products. Alright, so look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I just want to ask one more thing. Yeah, that's um, fine. Yeah. I'm on warfarin right now, so I just wanted to know that would any of that react with that, or does it react with any other medication? So the diuretica um, has no known interactions. Okay. Okay. Um, the um, the prostasan does not have many interactions. However, it does react with warfarin, and oh. what it does is it prevents you know the breakdown of warfarin. So you'd have a lot more warfarin in your body, oh, okay. which means which could raise your INR to a very high level. Um, so, I mean, that was only reported in one case, but it's still risky. Mm -hmm. And since you do have an alternative, I would recommend using the diuretica instead, since right. that does not have any interaction. The nettle root or the nettle rhizomes aren't known to have any interaction with warfarin. However, depending on what product you choose, I mean, especially if you want to go for the prostasan, you know, make sure you you monitor your symptoms and you see if it's getting better. And you know, I mean, wait for example, like three days, and if you see those symptoms really aren't improving, then go back to your GP, explain to them that you've tried the herbal products, and you know maybe, you know, you can try the finasteride, or they may recommend something else. All right, okay. Uh, actually, in that case, I think I will go for the diet. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. That's okay. Fine. So thanks a lot for your help. And hopefully, I won't be seeing you anytime again soon. <laughs>